Papa John, day 127, back on the trail, on my own. Muffet got some kind of respiratory thing going on, so she's gonna stop at the doctor and check that out this morning. I'm gonna mosey on ahead and see what the trail looks like and probably hook up with Johnny Walker and Muffet later today. Bennington's a nice little town. The Catamount Hotel's a good place to stop. They'll shuttle you to the trailhead and back. And that's about five miles, so that's a good thing. The uh, river here is really kind of funny looking. Let me show you. Look at that river, it's very rocky. Very rocky. Looks like good clean water though. I'm loaded up though. I'm loaded up with food, I'm loaded up with water. My pack weighs a lot and I'm going uphill for about uh, six or seven miles. So. This is going to be a workout, but I'm looking forward to it. Here we go. Coming out of the trailhead from Bennington, Vermont. I told you there would be a good ascent, and it does not disappoint. Plenty of steep inclines. This will continue off and on for several miles. It's leg day. Dang, every day's leg day. Whew. So the plan for the next couple of days is probably gonna be stuck in the woods for four or five days and get to Rutland. And at Rutland, there's a place called the Yellow Deli and it's a hostel and a deli and it's run by some religious group that I think it's called 12 tribes or something like that and some people like the experience some people think it's kind of weird I don't know I think the Appalachian Trail is all about the experience so just like I experienced the Doyle I plan to go experience the Yellow Deli but out here you know plans change all the time so, we'll see what happens. I use a uh, app on my phone called Gut Hooks. Pretty much everybody does out here. It can locate you and show you where you are on the trail, show you where your water sources are, your next shelter, your next tending site, your next town, what's in the town, and people can leave comments. And that's really helpful because you don't just get one person's view of what a shelter or tent site or town is like you get lots of people's reviews and up ahead there are a few good shelters up there but they say there's an active bear and I kind of think all bears are active but there's one that obviously is very hungry up there and he wants to get after your food bag so I'll have to uh, take precautions to make sure he doesn't get my food bag because if uh, the bear does get my food bag I'll be hungry and that sucker weighs about 12 or 14 pounds right now I am loaded down that's why these hills are killing me they're not killing me they're just good exercise so my pack's probably 30 pounds so you crossfitters out there pig I know you're watching you get two 15 pound dumbbells and start doing doing walking lunges do that for a few hours and see how you feel anyway that's what we're doing today this is part of the AT and of course this is part of the uh, Vermont Long Trail also is known as the Glastonbury Wilderness and as you can see it very much is wilderness it looks like something from Jurassic Park you can't see in either direction. <laughs> you just keep your head down and look for the look for the mud and try to stay out of it. And eventually you'll see a sign that tells you where the shelter is. That's where you'll find some tenting sites. So you can see there's hardly any tenting sites around here. If you come in and hammocking, it might be kind of difficult too, but I don't know. I don't hammock, so I don't know. There are a lot of trees. So hammockers might be okay.
this is a pretty cool shelter. I'm not going to stay here tonight, but I will stop and eat lunch and then head on my way. <sighs> Missed that one. It's been some bear activity. I'm sure that's why the rocks are in here. In case a bear shows up, you can at least pelt him in the head. Getting a little lunch going here. Got a little red beans and rice. Pour some hot water on them. Let them hydrate. Be good to go. Is a deep. 